Hello, my name is Thales Senkorting and I will present how CNN algorithm works. CNN stands for Convolutional Neural Networks. The concept of Convolutional Neural Networks is the result of these two elements. Well-known algorithm of artificial neural networks plus a set of operations that we will call convolution. By combining these two kinds of ideas here, we get the convolutional neural networks or simply CNN. Recalling the concept, neural networks are composed of artificial neurons which simulate biological neurons in a limited way. Let's just take a look at the artificial neuron. What we have here is a set of elements that are represented by the set of inputs of x1, x2 up to xn, which are connected to f, but the connection between the input and the activation function is done by a set of weights, which are represented by omega1, omega2 up to omega n. Besides this, we have a bias, which is the letter B, and after applying, the output of the activation function is represented by the letter Z, which is a function applied to the input, weighted by all these elements inside omega, plus the bias. So this we connect some input and have a single output. We are just recalling the artificial neuron because this idea will be used as follows. The other concept that I mentioned is the convolution operation. We have a single input image and we apply some filter or can be called mask, kernel, template or even window. And by applying this we can see that this red square is represented in this input window. So all these values are pixels of the image in that position. And by applying a filter which we can represent here by omega at these nine positions or these three by three positions, we obtain uh, an output value by combining the input window or the input image weighted by all that values inside the filter. The result of the convolution in this position, x, will be the result of this weighted sum. The first value multiplied by the first weight plus the second value multiplied by the second weight up to the last value multiplied by the last weight. CNNs are what we call the most representative supervised model in the theory of deep learning is a technique that nowadays is producing outstanding results in pattern recognition. The example that I will show here is CNN applied to image classification. The first step or the first layer of the CNN is composed by one or more layers of convolution. After this, we can apply one or more steps of pooling. After this, we design what we call a fully connected layer. And at the end, to obtain a classification, we can apply some algorithm, for example, softmax, is what I'm going to show here. And the example that we are going to show is image processing to perform digit detection. Suppose that we have a pre-trained convolutional neural network to detect numbers in images from 0 to 9. We apply an image of the number 1 and we expect that the algorithm will detect the number 1 and also for the number 2 and so on. In the CNN, we can perform, for example, a convolution. And we have this input image whose size is 25 by 25. So this image here is decomposed on the three channels. And on these three channels, you can perceive that we have a filter being applied in all the channels. In this configuration, I decided to create two filters of the size 5 by 5. By applying the first filter, we have this. The first filter applied to all the three channels, and then we apply an activation function. In this case, this is going to be the max function, or rectified linear unit. But we have two filters, 
So when we apply the second filter and also apply the activation function and obtain the second output. So these two images that are being formed here are what we call tensors. Now we have two tensors of the size 25 by 25. The next layer we will apply the same step. The input will be exactly the previous output. So the two tensors from the previous convolution will be the input of this case. But now we decide to create three filters with a size 3 by 3, followed by the same max function. If we have three filters, we will have three tensors of the output. And that's what we are obtaining here. In the next step, we can define a new layer. The next layer is what we call pooling operation that integrates some values and the output will be a single value. For example, here we have four pixels and the function that we applied here is to get the four pixels and obtain the maximum of these four pixels. So we obtain a single value. In our example, we have the three tensors from the previous convolution and we apply a filter of four by four. So we get four times four pixels and the algorithm will choose for the max or the maximum value of the pixel to be the output. So we reduce the size of our image. We have three input tensors and the output will have also three tensors, but the size of these tensors is different because we apply the pooling. The next step is what we call a fully connected layer. In this case, we also get the tensors from the previous convolution, the size is 6 by 6, and we get these three images with size 6 times 6, and we'll create a single input composed of all the pixels. And now we will get the values of the pixels. So, is what we call fully connected. We get all these input values and connect to a structure of the well-known neural networks, a uh, weighted sum of several inputs. In our example, we decide to output four neurons. So these four neurons will be the input of the next layer that we call softmax. This is an example of an equation that output a value relating the similarity of the input to a single class. Suppose that at this point we have an input value composed by the values in x and suppose that we have all these elements in the omega which are the weights of the neurons. So the softmax algorithm will apply this equation that we show here. It is a fraction and at the numerator we will make a computation considering this input value and also in the case of the class 2 will use all the elements related here so it will compute the product of these two values plus the bias that we are omitting here and will divide by the sum of all these values and in this case since we had the input which was the number 2 what we expect the output would produce a higher value in the number 2, since the number 2 is the highest value of softmax, so the classification produced by all this process is the number 2. These are two very interesting references that I've used to produce this presentation. This is, very briefly, how CNN algorithm works. Thank you.